This game, my god, it is so good. Probably the best $6 I ever spent on a video game. It has everything a Star Wars fan could ever want in a game. Planet control, and building, ground battles, and amazing space battles. There's really only two types of game modes, a campaign and a skirmish. They both have the same type of gameplay, just one is linear, and the other not so much. You can play as the Rebels, the Empire, or the Broken Ass Pirates. In skirmish mode, you pick the faction you want to play as, and you just take over the galaxy however you want. The campaign mode is like most campaigns, following the story. You start off with a small amount of the galaxy under your control, and over time you expand it by doing missions and taking over more planets. Near the end of the campaign, you are frantically microing all your planets, multiple fleets, and your ground forces. The battles become a lot larger and a lot more fun. Each faction has their own cast of characters you can play as. The rebels get Han Solo, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Admiral Akbar. Although the Empire gets less heroes to use, the quality is much better. They get Boba Fett, Tarkin, Darth Vader, and old Palpatine himself. As well as some others. All of the heroes come with their signature ships and abilities, such as Akbar with his cruiser, Vader using his force choke, Han and Chewie with the Falcon, and Palpatine can use force lightning and take over people's minds. Some of the heroes can only be used in the ground battles or in the space battles, but a few can be used in both. For instance, Han and Chewie, they could be in their Millennium Falcon, shooting down TIE fighters, fighting the Empire in the space battles, or on the ground, taking over enemy vehicles and using EMP bombs to disable them. The ground battles, although fun, aren't as good as the space battles. If you're playing versus the AI, they tend to just throw everything they have at you, with no real strategy involved. I found that playing as the Rebels, you could cheese the AI just by spamming the basic infantry and rocket guys. They're able to take down pretty much everything that they have, from stormtroopers to AT-ATs. This even works on the Empire side with stormtroopers. You can even use the AT-ATs to spawn infinite amount of troopers. The space battles. Man, the space battles. They are literally the best part of this game. Being able to fight using large fleets containing some of the best spaceships, such as Star Destroyers, Mon Calamari Cruisers, X-Wings, Y-Wings, TIE Fighters, and even the Death Star. The game could honestly just have been space battles without anything else and it would still have been a fantastic game. It's also a really good substitute for Armada if you can't afford any of the miniatures. And if you ever get bored of the base game, the amount of great mods for this game is insane. Many add new heroes, ships, units, and even maps. Some mods even add and change so much they are practically like free expansions. Overall, the game was definitely worth the price. It goes on sale a lot, so if you don't already own it, just wait for it to go up on sale and pick it up. This is definitely worth your money.